Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenny. so welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much guys for your support, you know guys, I'm so grateful for every, every one of you. Um, so, but 98% of y'all are not subscribed, so please make sure you subscribe. So this just helps me know that you love my content and that you're, you know, you know, you just want more. So, and then it keeps mo me motivated just to know that I can make more videos and that you love what I'm doing. And so I'm so grateful for one of your, um, you know, you sent me a message asking me to react to uh, Mistress's video, you know, a day with my grandma in the village in Kenya. And so, yeah, so today that's what we're going to, you know, to, to watch. And please make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so, yeah, welcome. And then let's watch this together. So let's get straight into this video. Mm. This scene looks so familiar. This scene is just so familiar. I've, you know, I have really um, had this scene in my life for so many years as a child going to Kirinyaga to visit um, my my uncle. But, you know, we don't say uncle really. We just say like Fafa, like dad. He's like my father's brothers. We call them Fafa as well. This means dad. So, Oh my goodness, the same spot at the entrance of the village. There was always a cow at the entrance. And so this scene is just so, so familiar. So let me know if you're from Kirinyaga or any other place up country. Um, do you have, I mean, just a cow? I don't know. The scene is just crazy. Just let me know if this particular scene is familiar to you. And so let's just have a look at the food because it makes me so hungry. Mmm. <laughs> it looks like Mukimo. Mm. Oui. Oh, it just made me speak French. So if you don't know, I speak French. Um, yeah. So Shosho likes the food. It looks like Mukimo. So that's mashed potatoes and peas and you know some pumpkin um, leaves and stuff, so. <laughs> that sound is so relaxing, I just love it. say good job to Trudy's um, video guy and now I think I know his name is Ben right now I just love the way he captures simple moments but full of meaning um, and so just just look at how well he portrays the radio in the morning at dawn and you know it just brings back to me so many memories and that's why i'm so excited to to react to these videos in kirinyaga because my oh my goodness i just love um everything about it because it just brings back so many memories so let me know in the comments below if you're in the same so i should stop pausing right now because i'm i love this video so much already <laughs> she's glowing she's glowing look at the, the her clothes the top and everything oh my goodness she's glowing and that's a feeling that i always have each time i go back uh, to shags and it just is it the, the pure air the the pure people like you just feel like you know simple life simple things in life are actually our blessings and we don't really um, if you don't pay attention, then they just pass you by. But I think it's good to appreciate the simple joys, simple things in life. I this much. It's because I'm so hungry. It's because, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm country, but I'm so tired. I hope you had a good night. I sure did. Oh, my gosh. And then I'm walking up to the sound of the birds. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, you can't buy it. Yeah, and you can't mm. even make myself. Exactly, exactly. I agree with her 100%. Simple things in life that you can't buy are mostly the best. You know, just the, just hearing 
the sound of the birds chirping, of the cows mowing, of oh my goodness, of just the smell of the morning tea in the morning. Everything just falls into place. I, I don't know how to explain it, but that's the, ex the same exact feeling I have every time um, I, I travel um, back to Shad's each time. Why are you so shocked? I think she knows a few words here and there. If she never went to school, I don't know, but um, I feel like that's a generation where girls started going back to school a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if she went to school because she speaks Swahili. Um, you know, she, you know, seems like she can speak a little bit of English. So, I mean, I'm not surprised at all because it was the same thing with my grandma. She could speak Swahili um, and English as well, but just a few words here and there. So I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Who taught her? Good morning. Uh, I want to ask my grandma a couple of questions. Okay. Um, first of all, um, you know my grandma is very very old. She I, I doubt she went. She didn't go to school. She didn't go. To, she didn't, I'm sorry, guys. You're gonna be laughing and watching this video because my grandma just loves laughing. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe and share the video. Anyway. Back to my grandma, okay? So, my grandma never went to school. Yeah, she managed to bring up amazing children. Sure, sure. How old are you? How old are you? Stop it! <laughs> She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. You know, I I wouldn't say I, I'm not surprised because from the first the previous video that I you know I reacted to, she said in her 90s. I'm like, what? She doesn't look 90 at all. And if she is 19, then wow, I want the secret, like seriously. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, yeah, she must be in her early 80s, but not over 85 in my opinion so <laughs> you know my grandma is saying <laughs> she's saying she, she has a deep 90 so i didn't put that on her but to show you've been 80 for the longest time <laughs> okay i guess it's 80. <laughs> went to school until grade four so I'm I'm not surprised mm. yeah. she said she went to school but she, she reached class four so my cousin is coming to help us translate that she's saying that's my cousin she wrote you go to church Mm. Oh, she, she says oh yeah, because when you go to church, it's long, so the service is very long. So she's explaining that she know because of her back ache, she she no longer goes to church, and of course she, it's a walking distance as well. And yeah, so she just I guess she just you know prays at home. Her back aches a lot, so she's not able to go to church these mm. days. I don't know about you guys, but me, I'm so scared of getting old. I'm scared that one day I look like my grandma. Actually, someone left a comment and said, Oh, Trudy, when you get old, you totally look like your grandma. Sure, sure. You look alive. <laughs> 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 I want to ask you a final question. Sure, sure. Now that you're old, you've lived a very, very long life. What advice can you give us as young people? Give us, tell us two things. Give us advice. <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> Guys, I love the advice she's giving. 
So the person she told us is, if you have a man, don't leave him to go to someone else because they're showing you cash. Stick with your husband or stick with your boyfriend. And that's a great piece of advice. I mean, you don't get married for money, for the social status, for stuff like that. It's a great advice. It's a good, great marriage advice. And I think you never know. Uh, you can. St- I would ra- personally, I would rather start from zero with my partner than find that he's got. He already has so much already. And so this is something that I've always told myself, and my mom always, um, you know, she educated me in that sense. You know, just you know, g- just get education. You know, find your own job. Make sure you're financially independent and do not depend on anybody so yeah so sure sure i agree with you that's great advice that's great advice what do you guys think about what she just said so just leave a comment um below don't follow fools that is wrong that is number mm-hmm. one second and final advice my, my grandma is saying you need to be wise if you're someone out there who has land don't sell it let it be an investment for your kids keep it for your children so that they don't suffer in the future yeah it's basically just Guys, you know, grandparents have so much wisdom. They have lived in this world mm. for years. So, yeah, it's always good to, you know, take time and talk to them. Let them, you know, impart some wisdom. Like, right now, I'm feeling wiser than I was when I woke up. So, thank you. I don't think I've ever loved this oh, one. Miss Trudy, she's just such a sweet person. She looks to be so genuine. Um, that's that's the vibe I'm actually getting from her. She looks like to, she like she looks like a very genuine person, you know, very, you know, wow, I love I just love her vibe and I'm so um I'm looking forward to reacting to more of her videos. So if you know any of any other video from Miss Trudy, like it doesn't have to be a new one by the TBT, you know, that I haven't watched yet. Um yeah, feel free, just you know, just leave me in the comments below. Uh, or any other YouTuber, of course, African YouTuber, um, I will be so happy to do so. I would love to know why. But guys, so this is my friend's grandmother, and uh, she's brought, this is a type of vegetable. She actually went to her farm with her father. And actually it looks so much like modo koi. It's, um, yeah, it looks like, mo- is it modo koi or something? It's, um, you know, it's a type of vegetable that usually usually used you know when you want to mash um potatoes and stuff like that so i i'm not 100 percent sure but it looks so much like that i thought she was messing with me because in the morning she was like do you want me to bring you vegetables i was like yeah but she actually came with vegetables yeah <laughs> look how pretty she is oh I'm telling you, the melanin is beautiful. And that's another way, like, people from, you know, the country, when they come visit you, they bring you vegetables from their garden, you know? There's always this kind of, um, uh, you know, I don't know, just this thing that you want to give back and, and not expecting anything in return. And it's it's just a beautiful spirit, um, you know, about people from the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give her a drink. Guys, you know. Are you going to offer tea? No? Africa. When someone pays you a visit, you have to, you know, give them something. So now that you have a visitor, I came with a drink and my grandma has been asking me what it is. I don't know what she thought it was. So let me read that first, guys. So in Kenya, if someone pays you a visit, you give them tea. Because you know Kenya, they're the world's biggest producers of tea. So we take a lot of tea. Anytime it's tea time. So now my my grandma's friend is here and she said it's feeling so hot. That's right. Anytime it's tea time in Kenya, for sure. I know as a child, every time, each time anybody came, be it in the morning, at ten, at midday, at four at five whatever time um regardless of how rich or poor anything i mean tea 
um, is like a welcoming drink to um, in Kenya. As everywhere you go, people always offer you uh, tea. And funny enough, we make, we produce lots of coffee. And in Kirinyaga in particular, you have so many coffee farms. Um, and I was very surprised because I saw Mr. Lee uploaded a video about tea. And I never thought there was tea in Kirinyaga. Is this something that is recent? Because I remember we had so many coffee farms. Um, so we produce a lot of coffee, but uh, Kenyans don't really take as much coffee as, you know, as tea. So... Yeah, so let me know below if you know if it's recent in Kirinyaga to produce coffee, uh, tea, um, you know, or has it always been the case? I I I don't remember that. After getting all this from the farm for me, I can you know I'm just gonna get some things to drink. Mm. And then I wanna see her reaction. I want her to tell me what it tastes like. Okay. I hope it's sweet to her because I love mojito. Mm. I discovered this, you know, a while back. They haven't promoted this. But if you're watching, yeah, support a sister, promote her, sponsor her. Go fruit. Sponsor your girl. Yeah. See my shushu. My, my grandma is saying it looks like water. Mojito, look at shushu. Well, my guess is she will like it because it's sugary, so it's just orange juice. So I think they will like it. Nice one, Mr. D. Yeah, you've been struggling so much. But anyway, kudos because I feel like you've really, um, you know, you're really trying in Swahili, and it's good, you know, because you're making the effort to communicate with your grandma in, you know, in Kikuyu. But yeah, she speaks. I don't know how much she does speak in Swahili, but yeah, you've been struggling, struggling, and you know, she can speak. That's what I love about this girl. She's just so natural. My goodness. I've been struggling to speak to my grandma in, in, in local dialects. I've been struggling to speak to my grandma in local dialects because the whole time I'm thinking, yeah, you know, she doesn't understand Swahili because she rarely speaks Swahili, but apparently she does. <laughs> wow. Oh. Did you see what she just did? You know, the fact that she speak uh, on her chest, that's a huge sign of respect and also blessings. I remember my grandmother used to do that all the time. All the time she respected somebody. All the time she was thankful. She was grateful. Every time she wanted to, you know, to... um bless us as her grandchildren she would do that and it's a huge sign of you know respect and especially uh gratefulness thankfulness whatever you call it however you want to call it but it was uh i love it oh my goodness these videos are just taking me back and they make me miss my grandma so much because um this series of two videos just show me exactly what i miss most about home and about my grandparents about my roots and stuff like that so i'm so oh my goodness let's just let's watch that again and just pay attention to how the lady when she gives her the money just pay attention to what she does I don't know if I would say Africa, but I I, I have no idea. Let me know if from if you're from you know any other country in Africa. Do you guys do the same thing? Do the elderly um you know just spit on their chest to bless people? Let me know in the comments below. Do they do that in your country? Do you give an elderly person, a man, a grandma or a grandfather, a grandmother, a 
much or if you bless them if you make them happy they spit on their chest as a you know as a way to show blessings yeah. leave a comment let me know how do they do it in your country do they do it the yes exactly please same same to me do they do it in a different way and how how do they do it how do they do it hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In Swahili we say kunde, and then in um in Kikuyu we say madoroko. Oh, kunde, kunde. How do you make your kunde? How do you like it? Do you add coconut, like you say? Me, I've never, I've never heard of that before. So, guys, I've just discovered something. All my life, I thought that this comes from my dad's side of the family. I don't know if you guys can tell me what you talk about. It's like. Yeah. Is it people in Kirinyaga? Because my grandma had the same thing and I also have the same uh, skin type where my my leg, I can't I can't show you guys, but um, I have the same white um, kind of spots on my legs uh, on my. Yeah, it's it's just wow. Maybe it's just people from Kirinyaga or is it like all Africans or. I should ask my friends. I oh, I think I will ask my friends just to look at their, you know, at their legs and see if they have that, you know, that kind of skin um, tone where you have dark spots and light spots and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments below if it's the same for you. Small bands. It's like whitish. Do, do, mm. Can you see what I'm talking about? You know, it's, not, it's like, I don't know. Guys, do you get what I'm trying to tell you? It's like small <laughs> patches. Like, it's like you've been burnt before. I thought it's from my... That side of the family, but I just noticed my grandma is like that. Oh my god! See her leg. Show, show. Oh yeah, exactly. I think you guys can see my grandma was the same, the same. And I remember each time I would massage her, it was like I was like, "Hey, show, show, you're light skinned." Or I used to, I used to play with her, but um, yeah. And I've noticed that my skin as well. Is it? The, I don't know if it's with age, but. Miss Rudy is quite young. I, I have no idea. So it's interesting to see. Oh. Hiya. Sure, sure. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They don't tell you how we explain it to her. Communication breakdown. This is really the thickness of the blue, but oh well. Hiya, too. Ah, auntie. <laughs> Guys. That is something else. I remember each time we would go to Shang's and just, you know, just the day before we left or the, the D-Day, uh, we had our cousins. They would bring us stuff from the garden, be it our roots, be it uh, the kunde, be it the potatoes, whatever was on season, the bananas, the avocados, the mangoes, the name it they would all we would just go back with bags and bags of you know of produce and of, oh my goodness so yeah that is so sweet auntie yeah oh i love 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 our food so this is really coming to me yeah vendoma mm, i love them fried let me know how you like your doma you can you can boil them or you can just uh fry them so boil them and fry them as well and I prefer them uh, fried, actually. So let me know how you like your doma. Guys, so this is how nice people are in the rural areas. You see, mm. you see, they always give you stuff to carry. You know, my grandma is already telling me I'm carrying a hand to my room. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I feel so spoiled, yeah. you know. So, yeah, my, I, think, I don't think my grandma can ever, can ever die of stress. Because she's always oh, yeah, I already, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, look at how happy she is. Your grandma is so happy, Miss Trudy. 
she is just so happy to see you that you know you went to see her and stuff like that and i saw on your instagram that you're going to kisumu i guess that's your father's side so i can't i'm looking forward to those videos as well so you can so thank you for sharing your story because it's nice to know where you come from and and stuff like that so yeah your grandma she is just like shining you know with happiness and, and gratitude and all that so this last thing i think that's also one of the reasons why she's grown <laughs> 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 that means like shosha is like what what are you doing i think she's just peeling uh the potato but she's just she's not peeling off the the peeling if that makes sense but she's taking also potatoes as well so the girl is like you're wasting you know you're wasting the potato so yeah <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my god she's saying i'm not doing it oh so yeah <laughs> She's a city girl, show sure, sure. Just excuse her. Yeah. Many hours later. Mm. That's the scene I was telling you guys about at the beginning. This scene I have it just brings back so many memories and exactly what she's doing. I did it and I feel like we're from the same shags. I feel like we're cousins or something. Uh, of course we're not, but I, f my goodness, just like the everything, this scene and just the position because it's lifted in a way with the with the cow dang and Kamenua. I don't know for what reason, but this is just and most of the time it's just for the the veal, um, you know, the baby cow. So most of the time it was just the you know the calf. No, the calf the calf the veal is the meat so i'm sorry so yeah so this is an interesting scene i love it so there we get to see the full feet you know we get to see the full feet and yeah mm, looking nice how can you explain to us how you know it's sugar cane because you've left that one? Oh, before she answers, if I remember correctly, I think the sugar cane, the sweetest part of the sugar cane is at the bottom because, but I feel it makes sense because all the sugar goes down, you know, it just like uh, slides down the root. And so the sweetest part of a sugar cane is at the bottom. And I remember as a street food, when you buy, you just always ask for the bottom. I used to ask for the bottom of the sugar cane. So I would say if uh, my memory serves me right, it would be at the bottom. Um, you know, you know, it's ripe, first of all, because the leaves are dry. So, you know, and then uh, the sweetest part of the sugar cane is at the bottom. Exactly, exactly. That's how you plant sugar cane. You cut off the top part and that's why it's not the sweetest part. And then you can plant, um, you know, plant it again. And do this. So I don't remember if you have to um, put it in the water so it can have some roots. I, I don't know. I don't remember that, but yeah. Part of the sugar cane is the one that's closest to the roots, right? Yeah. Guys, as you can see, my cousin is also giving me some 
some sugar cane to curry. And that's so nice of her. These people, they are too much. They are finishing me, you know. So many things. Um, yeah. Guys, so, um, I have decided to go for a photo shoot. You guys love my outfit. Mm. Yep, the green is really nice. Looks perfect. Perfect. I don't remember the name. Is it the calabash? Is it the calabash or something? You have a small one, so you make it dry first. Um, I don't remember, but yeah, you look fantastic. It looks so good. I feel like African culture is so beautiful. And we all should be proud to be African. You don't even get me started with the Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> our dressing, our you know kinky hair. That, that's that's a whole video by itself. Anyway, um, hey, hi, yeah. how are you? I'm good. Guys, this is Chef. Yeah, Chef is chef. Yes, he's also a YouTuber by the way. We're gonna leave his link in the description. Hi, Chow. You should go over and check him out. Yeah, so, sure you like. yeah. Tell me, what's this? Uh, this uh, basically is an African wand, and uh, the, 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 it grows just like the pumpkin. Okay. Uh, so you mean this is something natural? Yeah, it is so natural. What? It is grown from the shamba. Uh -huh. Yeah. So after after it matures up, so you you cut the top. Yeah, and I think you have the seeds. You have to empty the seeds. But what's the name of the of the? It's it's not a fruit. It's not a vegetable. But what's the name of the plant? I don't remember. Let me know in the comments below if you remember what's the name. Of the plant, and then you 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 you, you dry it up so that the seeds from the inside ah, they yeah. come out, and uh, we use it to to store uh, ferment. Yeah, fermented porridge, and I remember my grandma used to do that. I remember that. Yeah, I think it's fermented porridge for most part, and the porridge was so good. And sometimes you can cut it into two to make um, um, a wooden, not a wooden spoon, but something like that, you know, and so it will be a way, it will be, I don't, you could serve stuff inside and, oh my goodness, this is done memory lane, I love it. African porridge, African porridge, yeah, yeah, and uh, nowadays they are so rare, you can see, when it cracks up, you must uh, need it oh. up, you must. Uh, yeah. How did you do that? You know this is not a cloth for you to do it. Yeah. Is it super glue or what did you use to no, do this? No, actually, you see the way you do the, the growth or the shoe in the same way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you can sew it, but the needle must be solid because, you know, it looks and sounds hard, you know. Yeah. Guys, so if you want African porridge, if someone tells you they're giving you African porridge and it's not meat, they are lying. <laughs> Kenyan, Kenyan porridge. Ah, uh, we're going for a photo shoot. You know what? In Nairobi, you get charged lots of money. You know, mm. just to take photos in places like this. So I thought, why not take advantage? And that's why I've changed my outfit. I wanna go and you know take some photos, which you might see. Let me follow me on Instagram if you wanna see this. Yeah, guys, and my Instagram is in the description below. So make sure you come and say hello. You know. Come and say hello, um, and so you will find the name to my uh, to my Instagram in the description box below. So yeah, let's get the photos. A few moments later. <laughs> that looks like what that some ugali, some cabbage, kills maybe. It's a mix of kills or spinach and kills. Or spinach and cabbage, but cabbage hundred percent. Mmm, I miss all. Mm. Guys, so we wanna cook. You know, I wanna cook for my grandma traditional Kikuyu food. Leave a comment. What do you think is Kikuyu traditional food? Because so many people we've been trying to debate. <laughs> you have two. I would say two. I would say Giveri. So Giveri is a mix of maize and uh, red beans. And sometimes you can add potatoes and carrots and, of course, the sp spicy top. Um, or I would say mukimo, which is mashed potatoes. And then you add some vegetables in there and it's delicious, delicious. So 
I don't know. I would, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between Giveri and Mukimo. So let me know in the description below what's, what do you think is the Kikuyu traditional um, food? Someone is saying Giveri, someone is saying Mukimo, ah. you know. And let me also know what's the traditional food in your tribe. Right. And just, just to remind you, um, in Kenya we have 42 tribes. So each tribe has its own um, identity when it comes to the food. So that's what we call the staple food. So I'm Kikuyu myself. So I know that Giveri and Mukimo are two very important dishes. But I wouldn't know which one to say is more. I would say if I was to make a choice, I would say Giveri's. But let me know in the comment section below what do you think is um, the staple Kikuyu food. Are you sure? Let me rewind. Let me rewind and let me listen. Uh, I don't know if I let me see if I can put the vote. So my volume is up. Okay, so let us rewind a little bit and listen to Shoko. I'm not very sure if that's what she said. Um, I would. I, I thought she was talking about the avocado trees that were going all the way up. Let me know in the comment section below exactly what she said. My my vo my volume is not so good right now. I don't know why, but um, I feel like she was talking about the avocado trees that were down there and they would go all the way up. So I don't know if she said she said about not going to the neighbors and stuff like that, but it's funny, I guess. She doesn't understand really Kikuyu 100%. 100%. So it's fine. It's okay, Miss Trudy. It's okay, but I'm not sure 100% as well. But um, let me know in the comment section below just what Shoshu has just said. Okay. So as Kenyan cocktail, we have different traditional food. For Kikuyu is what you're cooking right now. For Luo's, it's definitely the fish and ugali, right? Mm -hmm. For Luya's, it's chicken. Chicken, chicken is traditional food for Luya. Yeah, it's ingoho for the Luya's. Leave a comment, Luya's. Let me know. And also Luo's. But I think we need to pick Luo's. Yep, that's, uh, that's a, a maize, uh, you know, plantation. And always, they always plant the maize and the beans. Um, beans are always at the bottom most of the time. And I love, you know, the maize when it's not dry. And then when you boil it or when you uh, put it on the fire, when you roast it. Oh, oh, my goodness. It's just, I mean, if you ever go to Kenya, make sure you have it as a street food. You can find it everywhere you go. And it's just like the best maize I've ever tasted. The corn is just mm, delicious. My cousins actually help me to make firewood. You guys, this is actually the monkey's uh, avocado skill. Yeah, avocado. Ooh, avocados. I'm telling you guys, I know Trudy's grandma was talking about avocado. <laughs> I'm sure, but let me tell you, avocados in Kirinyaga are just the Boom! They're like the best avocados you would ever, ever taste, you know? So, yeah, so I am pretty sure that's what she was saying. Wait, let me know what's your favorite baking foods. For me, it's watermelon and avocado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yes, boiled maize is the bomb. Mm.
Looks like they're making mokimo because of the potatoes. She did it the salt, you know, what's a guy, what's the name of the guy on Instagram? Uh, salt Bay or something, you know, the way he just puts the salt like that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I guess I'm making mochimo because you have, she put in the potatoes first, then now she's putting in the kunde or the mudokoi and yeah so I guess that's what they're making guys so now it's finally ready so we've added the uh, we had some beans what type of beans is this? Njahe yeah I think it's Njahe in Kikuyu <laughs> but I have no idea it's a type of a bean um, but I have no idea how you call it in in English. How do you call njahe in English? Let me know in the comments below what's the name of njahe in English. You know, and it's very nice, a very nice bean. It's very nutritious, especially for pregnant women. And so most women, when they're pregnant, that's what, you know, uh, they eat because it's very nice for the, some healthy milk and stuff. So we added them to the potatoes. So now what you're doing is mixing it up. This is um, very common mm. with the Kikuyu people. So now the food is finally ready. I'm going to serve it for my grandma. This is Kikuyu traditional food, Moki Mo. <laughs> we didn't put um, maize because my grandma is old and mm. she has some teeth issues. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, you also put maize. So, yeah. So anyway, um, you can, there are many ways of cooking. Yeah, but the fufu looks more like it's smoother than the mukimo because mukimo you still have some. Uh, we can s still see the beans in there. We can see the potato is not completely mashed, and and I have a feeling the fufu is more like ugali, but a little bit more. Um, the texture is a little bit more stretchy, I would say. So um, yeah, why probably just yeah probably just the appearance and the pounding part, but that's all. some fried meat <laughs> oh my goodness mm. guys and this was a surprise you're actually making it with beef I think how do you say ready in Kikui because even Ben couldn't say it <laughs> Oh, how do you say ready? Irione? Ready? No. Let me know in the comments below. How do you say ready in Kikuyu? Or Irione Jera, right? I don't know. Let me know. She's wrapping up um, what she wants to do. Now, that's another thing, uh, if you go to African homes, because we eat a lot with our hands. And so this is something that people always, always um, wash their hands. So, um, so the water can, it's warm water, you have soap. And so the first thing people do before eating is washing their hands. And so this is something that is not new and people are not doing it just for the corona. People are doing it because it's a tradition. It's, it has always been the case, um, you know, in comparison to the West, where people now are learning kind of to how, you know, you should wash your hands, you know, before eating or before after coming out of the toilet and stuff like that. This is something that Africans always do uh, before the meal. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the time. Have all been waiting for my grandma to finally tell us how the food is. <laughs> 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 
She loves it. She loves it. Oh, guys, she loves it. She's given me 10 out of 10. Yeah. Man, for sure. Thank you. Oh. At least, I've gotten so good have done something for my grandma before I leave. I love you so much. She doesn't even understand what I'm saying. But anyway, guys. Oh, I'm smiling so hard because when you just look at them, uh, the resemblance is crazy. Miss Rudy, you look so much as your grandma. You're such a beautiful soul. You look to be a beautiful soul. And your grandma, I feel where that energy is coming from, you know, because your grandma, she's so, you know, free spirited and she just, you know, beautiful smile. So, yeah, I mean. It's beautiful and I just love what I'm saying. It just brings back so many memories and you're so lucky to still have your grandma and for you as well, watching this video, if you still have your grandparents, make sure, you know, just show them the love, go see them, go visit them, you know, and they really love it when, you know, they know that people are thinking of them, so. I hope you like it. The food looks extremely tasty mm. and it tastes even better. If you like the video, you know, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you, you know, what you think, and share the video. Also, don't forget to let me know the traditional food you try. Bye, Shosho. Bye. Yeah, bye, guys, and thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much again, guys, for your support. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and so for the new ones in the, in, I mean, in my tribe, so welcome back. Um, and yeah, make sure you, you know, you watch and share with your friends and family and please subscribe. And so until next time, bye. Bye guys.